What up, what up? I'm gonna do a uh, variation of a Pat's rubber leg, which is basically an old or a new school version of the old school duck bug. I was gonna look, but I forgot to when the yuck bug was created. But I remember using it back in the 80s. Um, and that was brown chenille or black chenille or olive chenille with white rubber legs. Or a yuck bug was similar but had um, a squirrel tail with hackle. It was almost like a woolly worm with legs and a squirrel tail. But the Pat's rubber leg is very effective. The only difference between that are the Pat's and the uh, yuck bug is the variegated legs and the variegated chenille as opposed to just the regular legs and chenille. So this is uh, Montana Fly Sexy Legs. And that hook is the 1730. And then Dai Riki has one. I think it's the 700B. So in theory, this fly rides like a jig, like that. Just incorporated the antenna and now the tails.
And this will be our chenille. Flatfish food rocks. So I think, I mean, if somebody told me I could only fish with one pattern forever for trout anywhere in the world, this might be the one. But I'd have to think about it. So on this one, I'm just going to do four legs instead of six. When we get to the point where the trout are counting legs, we might have to fish for different stuff. So it's one last step. Those legs are going cattywampus. Cattywampus, tomfoolery. Those are probably my two favorite words. So a few wraps behind and then a few wraps in front and that locks that material in place. If you haven't used an extended reach whip finisher There's a standard. These are Mattarellis. I don't think you can get Mattarellis anymore. You can still get the, um, I guess the copies of the of those. This is the extended version. Allows you to get around stuff like those antenna, or if you're tying poppers, it lets you go over the over the popper head to the back. And if I remember next time, I'll, I'll tell you when the yuck bug was created. Or maybe you guys can tell me. So, I've got a white, white thread base. And uh, I'm just going to take my markers. Again, a huge marker advocate. I've got a whole, whole drawer full of them. But these are on my on my desk, the ones I use all the time. And a little bit of super glue.
And incidentally, for those that, and I can't give you a link right now, but those that have trouble with their super glue, uh, oops, their super glue hardening in a short amount of time, this is the answer. You get your bottle of super glue, or super glue. This, I think you get like eight or ten of these bottles, and you get like fifty of these. Um, this just goes on the nozzle, and I, I've had this bottle going since I think January, and you can see it's not hardening. That's a good setup to get. Actually, I can show you here. One sec. Here's the bag that they sent me of those nozzles. And then there's my bottles. I don't, that's my first bottle. Look how many nozzles. Pat's rubber leg-ish in a color that not many people use so it works. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you next time. Cheers.